Hey guys, so we're going to learn some useful sorting functions for PHP arrays, and there's going to be some tricks here. Mainly, we need to we need to sort an array by a key in a multi-dimensional array, and the function that we're going to use is inside of a class. It's not just some random function, it's actually going to be a class function. So we're going to be doing all that here. So what's the situation where you would need to sort a multi-dimensional array? Well, in this case, we have a giant list of alphabetical order people. This was a database query that was selected in order by first name. However, there are some cases where you can't get everything you need in one query. In our case, we actually had to make two queries to get what we wanted. So here's our first query, and then here's our second query. And then we mash them together with array merge, which is fine, but now we're out of order. What basically happened is now we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, L, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z, up here. Z, there's no Z, Y, and then we have an underscore, and then we have A, B, C, D, E all the way again, and that's because this is the second array now, and it's not in order anymore, because it wasn't in the original order by. So, we need to sort the PHP array by the first name key in order to make it work right. Now, the problem is that you can't just use the sort function, because it's going to sort by key, or by value. Okay, k sort or sort by value. It's not going to sort by an individual key in your multi-dimensional array. That's where u sort comes in. U sort is a function that takes two parameters. It takes the array that we want, which is users all, and the second parameter it takes is the function for a callback. So it basically, we're going to call it um, compare first name is the function. What this is going to do is it's going to take this array, basically loop through it, and sort by this, th sort on this function. Okay, so this function is going to handle the sorting. So let's write that function. Okay, so function uh, compare first name. And, and the compare function takes, like most sort functions, it takes an A and a B, and that's going to be, A and B are going to be um, the two pieces that we're comparing together, okay? And so when we get both pieces, we're going to return a string compare between the two parts. Now, again, we are in a multi-dimensional array. That means that in a normal situation, you would do something like return a minus b, and that would give you your your response. That would give you your answer. But in this case, okay, we need to compare two strings together, case insensitive, of course. And we can't use A and B because A and B are just value, or A and B are arrays in our case, not values, which is the whole point of doing this. So really, we need to compare A first name to A last name. Okay? Oops. Last name. I'm sorry. A first name to B first name. That makes sense. So now we're comparing the two parameters together. Okay? Well, we haven't done the compare yet. We just need we need to compare a first name with b first name. Okay, that's the key here. So so basically, we're gonna use sort on this func on this array using this function. Here is this function. It takes a and b, which is first array, second array, and we're gonna compare these two. Now you're saying how, how do you compare them? You can't do a oops, you can't do a minus b because they aren't values. Okay, you need to do a string compare. Well, luckily we have a function called um, string end case repair, or end case compare, which is this function, okay, which takes two parameters and compares them and returns the comparison, which is exactly what we want. And it's insensitive, okay, there's a function like this that is not, that is case sensitive, but in our case, we want an insensitive case compare. So, what this does is it compares A and B on these keys and returns it back to us, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, we have one problem left. You can't do this right here, okay? This function doesn't exist. I don't have function compare first name really anywhere in the document. Just because I wrote it here, this belongs to a class right now. Okay? This is class PMS for Project Management System. Therefore, I can't just straight um, use the, the function name like that. So you're like, well, what am I, how do you use usort to call a method? Well, to do that, Let's go to our usort page here, and we look at the function. It takes the array, and it takes a callback compare function. Okay. Well, this callback is highlighted blue, letting me know that there might be some options here. Let's click that. On the callback, we can see that there is a way to call a method call inside of a class. So, array 
So instead of passing, it's based, so here's our example. So instead of passing um, a single word for a function, we can pass an array. And the first parameter of the array is going to be the class, and the second parameter of the array is going to be our method. So instead of saying compare first name, we're going to pass an array and pass it the class, which in our case is this. The word this is our class because we're inside of our class. Okay? And then we just need to close the array. And this will allow us to use usort on an array with a class method because this would be this.comparefirstName. Okay? That's why we have to do it that way. And we're going to compare on this. And now if we save and refresh our page, we can see undefined indexed first name, which is obviously a huge problem, uh, which would be. What is our huge problem? Because of the function, let's see, first t, first name, refresh. And now we have a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, t, k, l, m, p, q, r, s, t, u, v, w, x, y, z, underscore. And now they're all sorted in one solid list instead of two lists. So again, to review on these two part parts, OK? We have used usort with our array on a compare function that happens to be inside of the class this being my class. Here's our compare function. It takes a and b, which is first array, second array, or first value, second value if you're not using it in our case. We're going to return the string in ca insensitive case compare, and we're going to choose which key out of each array that we want to use. So this is how you compare keys through a multi-dimensional array with a compare function that is inside of a class.